So I'm going to ask the question, Mr. Homeowner, how long have you lived in the property and why would you be selling now? The homeowner creates a response that has one of these words in it. Someone be the homeowner. Does anyone want to try that? I want to sell it because I could move to Miami within the next few months. Ooh. Okay. Do we need to stop and acknowledge the could here? Yes. Why? Because it's an exciting new change, maybe. It's a, it's a change. This is an indication of a need or agreed. Which one? Right? We have to find we, out. We don't really know, but yeah. it's an indication of a motivation, a need or agreed. So he said he could move to Miami here in the next few months. If I don't stop the conversation here and say, hey, Mr. Homeowner, you said you could move to Miami. Dude, are you moving for business or pleasure? Oh, well, no, nah, I'm just moving because I, I want to fulfill my dream and start a nightclub. Oh, oh. My gosh, that sounds like so much fun, <laughs> dude. I used to work in a nightclub. And man, I'll tell you what, I haven't been in the club for a long time, but I still kind of miss it, man. There's something kind of special about all the lights and the music and the people and the energy. And gosh, man, is that how long you've been in the business, man? I mean, Oh, no, I, I, I'm not in the business. I just, it's just something I've always wanted to do. And right now I'm presenting with an opportunity to take over one. So uh, if I'm so, if I sell my house, I figure I'd go over there and buy a new house and take over the existing wow. nightclub. When are you wanting to make that happen? Okay. Oh, you man. see, I'm digging deeper, but I'm getting closer to the goal with this guy because I've heard, I heard a could. Okay. So let's, let's do another one. Great one, Gonzalo. All right. So who wants to go next? Who wants to be a homeowner and use one of these words? Well, let me ask you here, lady homeowner, how long have you lived in the house and why would you be selling it today to me? Oh, I've been living in the house for oof, a good 15 years and I just have to, I just have to move out. I mean, it's too big for me. Okay. Okay. So she said have to, okay. Now my ears perk up when I hear have to, because this is a motivational indicator, right? So now I need to dig deep a little bit about this have to. Hey, you know, I appreciate you telling me that. You said you have to move and the house is too big. Well, I'm kind of confused. I love big houses. What, what, do you, what do you mean you have to? I mean, you love them until you have to clean them. So oh, it's just okay. too much for me to maintain at the moment. Oh, okay. Okay. So she's still kind of giving me some surface level answers. Do you think there's more here though? I should dig for. Mm, yeah. What, what, what was her answer right there? Well, it's, it's good until you have to clean it. Yeah. Did she not just use another word? Have to mm. have to now what I'm trying to figure out here is, does she really feel like the victim of this house? Because yeah. that's really what she's saying, isn't yeah. she? She might have had a life change or something that now she doesn't have the time to clean the house. Maybe got a, a part-time job or something. So my thought initially as an investor is, is, is two things. Is one, she can't afford the maintenance on the house and it needs some repairs. Mm. That's really what she means. Or number two, the house is too big and she can't afford the payment either. You don't like cleaning either. Believe us. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> just, so there's probably more behind even what I'm getting at with her now even. So let's role play a little further and, and how would I dig? Because there might be more pay dirt here. Yeah. What's the follow-up question? Mm -hmm. She wants to sell this house because she don't want to clean it? That sounds silly. Yeah. Something like, are, are you going through some changes in your life that make you want to downsize or something like that maybe? Or Okay, that's, that's more direct and personal. I, I like that. I like that attack. That's good. Does, does anybody else have a, another? Oh, I got something. Okay. Maybe it's time for a story. Like, like, oh, you know what, Karen? I went through the, through the same exact thing. I had a big house. And then when I got divorced, I was the only one cleaning up the house. So mm. it, it, it became a lot of pressure for me. And I, ha I had to get rid of it too. Yeah, that's a good idea. I would, yeah. I would end off with like, well, who's helping you out right now then? Because you want to pass the, the puck back to them. And because you're trying to get information with these questions. So that story is great. And then I would say like, well, who's helping you out now? Surely your husband or your kids. Yeah. Or, or, or ask if, or just straight ask like, yeah. So, so you must be going through the same thing. I mean, just the big house. So I, I, I know what you're going through because as, as so far, that's all I know. Like it's a big house and she doesn't want to clean it up. Right. Right. Or so you we can don't, just say, she's kind of blowing us off here and what's, what's happening. Why are we not winning in this conversation? We're getting defeated with the housekeeping objection already. Cleaning a house all day. The pain is real. I understand. Oh, she's going to relate. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm going to relate. 
what else are we gonna do? We, we're gonna beat around the bush here and end up not knowing where she's at. Why are we gonna beat around the bush so much? What's one question that would end all of this? Why don't you just stay in, in it for a couple more years? That's still a nice way of doing it, but that, that would work, yeah. Yeah, hire a maid. What, what, what about this one? Are the payments current? You're not behind, are you? Mm, okay. I don't know. Ooh, what kind of stuff? Like, ooh, yeah. are we stepping on our toes by asking that? Ooh, maybe, no. maybe also it gets right down to the nitty gritty. Yeah. yeah. Maybe she's just a little ashamed and doesn't want to bring that up. And yeah. But if you'd ask me, I'd be honest with you because I'm not a liar. So maybe we just at some point need to just ask the question. Okay. Right. All right.